What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate on OneNote, and we're going to look at the action which is get pages for a specific section. This action allows you to get a list of pages in a section in one of your notebooks. This is useful if you need to do other things with those sections, maybe create some pages inside one of those sections. So let's take a look at it today. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow and I can click on new step and then I can search one note. We find the one note business connector and we can choose that. If I scroll down, we have this action here, which is get pages for a specific section and choose that one. It's going to ask me for two inputs here. It's going to ask me for a notebook key and a notebook section. So the notebook key is the actual notebook that we want to select. So this is a notebook stored in either your OneDrive or your SharePoint. And then click on this and choose the correct one. In this instance, I'm going to use my MCJ notebook. Next, we need a notebook section to choose from. So I'm going to click it and it's going to pull up a list of sections inside the notebook that I chose in that first parameter step here where it says notebook key. So I can choose flow section one, I can choose section one or section two. I'm going to choose section two. I'm going to flip over to my notebook. I'm going to have a look. So I've got a few sections here. I've got section one that has these five sections. I've got section two that's got these three sections, one called hello, one called test one, and one called page one. There's nothing in these sections, but uh, except, for, except for page one says hello. But we just have three sections that we're going to we're going to list. I'll switch back to my flow. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this first and show you what it looks like. So I'll perform a trigger action. We'll save and test. We will click on run flow, click done, and then it's done. And then we get this. So it says show outputs. Uh, it says show more. So outputs, it says show more. Click on show more, and we get the OData output and the pages in section value objects. So I'll make this a little bit easier to read by using the new show raw outputs button. The top bit is all the headers. So this is basically saying we're sending it and we get the response. And then we get the bodies. So the bodies, each one of these is the object inside of the body. So where we've got these, these uh, brackets or these braces here, we can, um, we can look at uh, the content inside. So it's going to give me several things. It's going to give me the ID of the section. It's going to give me things like the created on time. So I'm going to create this, create this on, the, on the 20th of September at 1.47. We have the title, which is the page. Uh, we also have links to the OneNote itself, so these are links that we could potentially um, send out, you know, OneNote embed URL, OneNote client URL, OneNote web URL. I could go to that and it would open the right page and the right section for me in this. Uh, we have lost modified time, so we are checking when it was modified. Uh, we also have details about the parent section, so the section that we were slept in section 2. We have the name section 2 here. So we can see this one's test 1 and we can scroll down. You can see this one's called hello, and we can scroll down. We can see there's one called page one as well. So to make this a bit easier, what we can do is we can put these inside of a compose action, just to get content out a bit easier for you to see. And we'll choose title, choose that. It'll put an apply to each around it because this is a uh, an array of objects that we are getting back. And we will click on test, and we'll click save and test run the flow, click done, take a second or two to run, we can expand this, uh, we can expand this, so we can see we've got three results, so the first one is test one, second one is hello, third one is page one, back to the notebook, we have hello, test, test one, page one, so we get all the same outputs in the same order uh, as we put out, so this is a really useful action because it allows us to get a list of our sections so once we have a list of the sections we can say okay add a, a, a you know a, a page into section one or add a page into every section with this you know with this data sort of thing so this allows us to get those records or get those those sections and those pages uh, that we can then um, do something with
So uh, or, you know, we could like get the content from those pages, not added pages into the section because this is the section one. Sorry, misspelled there. But we can add content into those pages, and we can use this action. We can use this action to get a list of those pages for us to do that. So what do you guys think? Is this a useful action? Do you use it a lot? Let me know in the comments down below what you use it for. I'm always fascinated to find out what people use these things for. If you did enjoy this video, if you could like it and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my latest videos. I'll see you next time.